Hello, everyone. Oh, my mic is muted. Everyone else's? Okay, okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Father Matthew's uh, cooking show. <laughs> so, which one are they seeing right now? All right. Well, I'm over here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, am I getting uh, parishioners? Are they hearing me? Not that one. This one here. That one is too dark. <laughs> this one there. That's better. How's that? Okay. Hello, everyone. I hope you can see and hear me. Write something on uh, on the comments or so that you can. It's through and and it's good. How is it? Any? Uh, is it? It's through. Michael, is it good? Okay, I'm, I'm told that I, oh, it froze. Oh, I'm told that I'm online and it seems to be, oh, okay. Somebody said, hello, Father. <laughs> I see, I see um, Frank there. Hello, we can see and hear you. Wonderful, this is a new technology. I, I have no idea what I am doing, and it's uh, it's going to be fun. Okay, we have a a new stove uh, that was used, and I usually don't use the uh, the gas, and so this is going to be another challenge as well. It's going to be new, but whatever it is, it's going to happen. <laughs> and so, okay, I, I got to talk to this camera here. All right, so the beginning so we well, let us pray it's like when you get into a car you pray so you don't get into an accident and so i think we should also say a prayer before i start cooking in the name of the father the son and of the holy spirit amen god is good god is great uh let us cook well and let no one die amen so on this uh, eve of the feast day of St. Patrick's, I, I, I'm wearing green, and it's going to, and uh, I thought it would be something fun, a very cultural thing, in the sense that St. Patrick's, St. Patrick was um, a, a missionary when he came to, uh, to Ireland from England. He was first a captor. And, and then he escaped back to England and then came back to Ireland to preach the gospel. And so, so did the, the French who came to uh, Vietnam. Uh, they, they were missionaries and proclaimed the gospel there. It's, a, it's an incredible story of uh, many of them and, and that it ex influenced everything of uh, Vietnam. To the extent that today we write the way we do is because of the the French missionary in particular, or I would call him a saint, but uh, he, he was uh, Alexander, a Jesuit uh, from Avignon, uh, Fra uh, France, uh, at that time, uh, and he became a Jesuit. Uh, he became a Jesuit and came to Vietnam and developed a way of writing the Vietnamese language in alphabetical, in the al alphabet, it, it uh, took root. It became, it was so easy to learn that uh, they use that type of writing. We don't write like the Chinese, like characters anymore because of him, Alexander uh, the Rhodes. And, um, and so we are very indebted in so many way to the French. Uh, well, the, the Spaniard uh, and the Portuguese, uh, they, they had uh, a tough time in Vietnam and the crown uh, in Vietnam, I believe, just say, oh no, we can't deal with these people. And so we'll leave it to the French. And so the French came 
and influence from language. And so that's how we write. We don't write like the, Ch uh, the, the Chinese anymore or the Koreans or the Japanese. We write like alphabet, right? And so uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's very interesting, uh, but with uh, accents all over it. Um, French cuisine also influenced Vietnamese cuisine. And so this, I would say, has that flair and that, um, that influence is very international. Um, the, the French, if you ever eat, eaten pho, the Vietnamese soup, that has a lot of ingredients that is very European and a combination uh, of that uh, with the Vietnamese and, and it's well known, the pho, the Vietnamese soup. I think most of you know of it. If you haven't tried, you should. And the restaurant that you should go to here in, in Maple Ridge is called Pho Song, just like a song, sing me a song like that. And so there they have very good soup. But also the baguette, the Vietnamese uh, baguette uh, sub. And you ever try, uh, have a try, you can go to ballet. It, well, it, it means we, uh, the, uh, it's mean Paris, really, ballet uh, and, and B, uh, B A L E, and it's a great sub. So, the Vietnamese sub, uh, the, the bread itself, it's a, it, traditionally it was mixed with flour and also rice flour because uh, uh, flour itself was very, um, very difficult to find. So, the Vietnamese use a baguette of the French and mix it with the rice flour and you, you can expand it further in a sense you can, uh, because there's a rarity of flour. And so there you got the Vietnamese sub and it's delicious. I very much enjoy that, the baguette, uh, the Vietnamese uh, baguette. So so the, the missionary, the French who came in, into Vietnam influence the way we do a lot of things. And, and in a way the Vietnamese are, are the, they love to uh, fuse things together. They, they're, they're very open to a lot of new ideas and thoughts, right? As in the Asia, other Asian uh, culture, like dominantly the Japanese or, or the Chinese, they, they're very proud of their culture and they don't, for the longest time, they wouldn't mix with anything. They wanted pure Chinese or pure Japanese, but the Vietnamese, we see whatever is good, like the language, hey, this is easy. Everybody can learn this. And so they began using the language list the French would write, the missionary did. It was developed so that the missionary could, could, uh, could understand the language, right, to, and in their own way, so it's to learn the language, but it developed so well that the whole country used that uh, very, very thing. So this is a, a, a history for you. So. Uh, I'm very excited, and but I'm not a cook. I learned all of this from my mom, and I would just say jungle cooking because you know, as a priest and a bachelor, I had to learn how to cook, and just uh, you know, learn. But I, I'm no expert. I just learn a little bit here and there. Are you ready? Write to me, somebody. Say you're ready, Father Matthew. You talk too much. Got to stop it now. <laughs> so a little bit of history for you. Okay, so today, uh, first of all, we we let's talk about ingredients. Okay, so some of you, lots of you, went and and, and got this noodle. This is not very good. <laughs> and but uh, so this is called the vermicelli. Can you see that that one there? It's not very good for cooking, but my mom has told me this is when I go home this is what she uses and it's made in Vietnam can you see that okay there you go and this one we used to eat it a lot uh, but um, we, we prefer the other one now so one is made in Thailand this one is made in Cambodia and this one is made in Vietnam. And of course, the Vietnamese know how to do their own thing much better. <laughs> and of course, uh, so that those are the rice noodles that uh, you should right now, 
if you're cooking with me, you should have a pot of water, boil, uh, you know, just getting ready to, to come to a boil, okay? Just, just get a pot with water uh, right now. Set it up uh, right now on the stove. And, um, okay, so those are the ingredients. I, I hope you got some prawns and some calamari chicken and pork now these are these are things that you can have them all at once or you you can just have the pork or the calamari or the chicken by itself if you find something else this is the vietnamese thing it's not strictly you have to have only this stuff right you can find something else may put it in uh make the rolls i, I haven't tried beef but uh, the Vietnamese usually don't use beef, usually pork. But you can try the pork out, I mean the uh, beef out if you want to. That This is the thing. But just the basic ingredients. Very simple. And uh, there's no uh, dairy. There's no, uh, uh, well, is there any wheat in here? No, I don't think there's any wheat of any form. And um, so I'm using olive oil, but you folks can use corn oil, oil or, or other things for your cooking. So not necessary. I love olive oil because, you know, I got influenced by the Italian and the good oil there. How am I doing? Am I going too fast? Somebody tell me, okay? All right. <laughs> so, so the ingredients there and now uh, some ingredients and now rice paper. Some of you got some really strange stuff you showed me, but this is what I'm talking about, rice paper. And of course, the best is from Vietnam. Made in Vietnam, okay? There are a lot of others made everywhere, but it doesn't roll as well, okay? And uh, and also, also get a kettle going, okay? Then you'll need the hot water later to cook, to put uh, this in so that it can cook in the hot water, and then you can put it on the plate and then you put stuff in and then make a, it, it cooks while it's on the plate, okay? So this type here, or any any uh, type that it's from Vietnam, uh, but this brand is very good. So whatever you have, you can use. This is a smaller of the same brand. I think this was from, uh, from TNT. You can buy this in TNT and Hang Long as well. I have a long history with the Hang Long people. I used to, as a, a farmer, when I was a kid, I would sell stuff to them as well, like corn. I would go out and a whole truck of corn, I would go there and I would sell. So Hang Long in Surrey, this is a big market there. And so I have a long history with them. So that is the type. Oh, it's the same company as this. I didn't see that, but... It's the same company, uh, Two Full Cook. It may be, where is this place? Oh, this is in Saigon. Okay. All right. So then, of course, for the peanut butter sauce, you have peanut butter. I like to use this type here. So from... Uh, you can use any type, but smooth. The smooth one is easier. And I'm not going to make uh, the the uh, the sauce uh, from the the. I, I just got my mom to make it. The the fish sauce. This is her secret sauce. I don't really know how to make it, and but you can uh, you can look it up on the internet, and um, you know if you. You are good to me, and one day I'll maybe give you some from my mom. <laughs> but she made it, but we can talk about what, what's in there. Uh, very simple uh, fish sauce. And of course, there's so many types of fish, fish sauce. Apparently, uh, Costco is selling really expensive uh, uh, fish sauce. And it's, uh, it's really packaged really nice. And at, uh, in actual fact, I've, I heard it was really, really good. Really, really good from a small island called Fukuk. And so uh, it's, it's really, really good. So it's got base is uh, fish sauce. Uh, um, when you're making it with uh, 
a warm water, sugar, and garlic, um, uh, Thai chili peppers, and uh, what else? Uh, hmm. I think for some people, they put a little bit of MSG too, but there's no MSG in here. Um, yeah, just very basic, but this, the, the, the base is uh, fish sauce from, uh, from Vietnam. Don't buy the one from China, okay? Buy the one from Vietnam. And so for the peanut butter sauce, you need peanut butter. You need hoisin sauce. This is a good brand. Lee Kum Ki, hoisin sauce. Okay. And like the Vietnamese, there's no exact amount. But if you like more peanut butter, put more peanut butter. If you like more hoisin sauce, you put hoisin sauce. And making with that, you have also chicken broth. Secret ingredient, chicken broth to make the sauce and to put it together. I'll show you how it's done later. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you how to do that. So, well, where are we? 20 minutes already. Wow, just a lot of talk. <laughs> All right. Okay, are we ready? So what I bought is, uh, so the, the protein that we are going to use is uh, chicken breast, okay? chicken breast and we have pork i brought up it's huge sizes but you don't need to buy those sizes at all just a little bit and calamari and prawns okay so the calamari and okay what else we we're looking at somebody tell me if you want to write something saying father uh, you got to slow down. <laughs> Tell me, what are you doing? And let me know, okay? This is really new for me, all this setup. And so that this is very neat. So let, let us begin by preparing uh, all the, if you're following with me, I'll, I'll take some, uh, I'll slow down, preparing with you. So take out the chicken or let, let's, the chicken is easy. You can just cut it accordingly, you know, to, uh, I don't have to show you, I guess. Okay. Um, but let's do the calamari first. And every time you be careful that uh, you you don't mix things too much and uh, and, and that you, you do cook things thoroughly because the, the, this stuff can get you sick if you don't cook it properly. Okay. I brought my ukulele as well. So play some uh, Vietnamese music so that the time comes and you, you can. Okay. Um, when you are doing your own things, those of you who are preparing. So calamari, the, these are small, small guys, really, really small guys. Can you see them? These are small, but if you can find the bigger, thicker one, that is much better. These are the small ones. Okay. And so really easy is to uh, pull the head out, pull the head out, All right? And inside, there is a certain, um, uh, like a skeleton for it, like a cartilage skeleton. And you pull it out and you, it comes out like that. See that? Just like that. And so you can save the head for later. I, I love to eat it later, like saute it and have it with a beer. It's really nice. And so then you are left with this, okay? You're left with the tube, tubular here. So what you do is, oh boy, I need a smaller knife. <laughs> Let me see here. Um, <laughs> so do you see the knife, a smaller knife? And then you kind of cut only one side, okay? Cut only one side. Cut on one side, and then you kind of clean if you want to. You can clean this whatever stuff is in there. Oh, I should move over here a little bit more here. Okay, good. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you, Michael. My, my. So clean it out and you have something like this, okay? And from there, you can begin cutting like into this direction. So when, when you stir fry it, it comes up elongated and then you can put it into the rolls, okay? So you can do that. I hope you thought it already. <laughs> So into strips like this, okay? But the bigger is not much nicer. We could, I couldn't find any other types. So, so cut it just like that into strips. Okay, so you can save this for later or you can throw it away. Some people throw it away, some, some people so I have a lot of this to cut. <laughs> so again, you clean the head, take out the uh, the ex uh, the skeleton, in in inner skeleton, like that. Some even take took out the skin. It, it turns white, but I like to keep everything, all the flavors. So this one, the skin is cleaned right off. You can, but it takes time to do that. But uh, you, but you don't need to. For me, I, I like to keep it. So you cut it again. Or what you can do is um, cut several, because they are small, cut several of them and stack them up together like a sandwich and then cut. And it takes less, uh, you know, less, less effort or rather than Lots all at once. Where did you get the calamari from? Oh, calamari! You can go to Canadian um, super, Canadian superstore, or or Hang Long, or TNT. TNT is very good with that. But yeah, sometimes so, certain seasons. Whoa! You have to be good. At cutting a good knife would be very helpful. But that's why bigger calamari is easier and better. And uh, you don't have to worry about the shapes and sizes. This is jungle cooking. There's, as long as it gets into the stomach, it's good. <laughs> okay. So you see that? Just that very simple like that for that. And the next, um, okay, chicken. Well, chicken, I'll, I'll use a, a different, uh, it'll, for chicken, I, I, I'm going to use a, a different, um, I'm going to wash my hands, but it's not really needed because it's going to be all cooked. But um, the chicken, Are you with me? Any question there? Chicken, squid, prawn, or pork? Which one I choose? <laughs> okay. Whoever you are, you can choose whichever one. So with the chicken, um, well, the breast is the easiest. There shouldn't be any bones in here, but I could see, I could feel that there is a, a bone here. Okay. So a chicken breast here, and again, slice it this way. Okay. This is what I would do, and so that it can fit into uh, into the rolls. And in the rolls, you can roll it up with squid and prawns and chicken some some of my siblings has put everything in there is humongous piece and you can but i like either prawns calamari separately or pork or chicken separately just cut it like that it's a nice little knife hmm. pretty sharp so better keep be careful don't cut yourself
So while we're cutting, do any of I'm going to teach you a little bit of Vietnamese. Are you ready? Um, you want to So this what we call um, what is it called? Gói <laughs> cuốn. Can you say that together? Gói <laughs> cuốn. It's really difficult. So gói is just uh, this uh, this type of cooking, and then cuốn is means it's the roll. It's a type of roll. So gói cuốn. Next time I'm going to cook to, for you what we call chả giò, which is uh, the fried spring rolls. These are salad rolls, the spring rolls. That, that I learned from my mom as well. And it is really good. You know, the ones you get in the restaurant, often it's a lot of fluff inside. The one that my mom makes, it's lots of meat. And so good meat as well. And so you can really taste it. Uh, and so it's larger too. Not, not just fluff inside, right? Like in the restaurant, you would just have a lot of fluff. So cut the chicken. Tell me, somebody tell me where everybody's okay and they're falling. Oh, you're making their mouths water. <laughs> That's what they said. They're make, you're making their mouth water. We are saying, I never knew that you could put calamari inside a salad roll. Oh, yes, you can. So who said that? Leah. Oh, hello, Leah. Yes, you can put calamari. Yeah. Yes. So you can even put uh, scallops. You can put, uh, well, not shellfish. No, no, uh, don't, don't try it with, uh, uh, you can even try it with uh, lobster uh, as well, like any seafood of any kind. But don't try um, uh, oysters or, uh, or clams. It won't work. <laughs> Okay, so that's the chicken. We'll, we'll cut another chicken while I'm talking. So, gói cung, and this is called, chicken is called gà, gà, <laughs> gà. And my Vietnamese priestly name, uh, they would call me, uh, uh, in, in like in in the Vietnamese parish, they would call me Cha Lin. So Cha means father. You can call your father Cha as well. Like your your dad or anybody. So you can call Cha. Lin is my actually uh, birth name. Lin L I N H is my saint name is Matthew, but my given name is Lin. And Lin combined with Lin Ho, it means the soul. So, and if you combine it with hiền lin, it means uh, 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 the the epiphany. So the words can combine, right? And the Vietnamese language is uh, very simple, but the intonation can be very difficult. Right now, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, can you tell the difference here? It goes chua chua chua. Can you hear the difference? Chua, chua, chua. So it's spelled the same, C H U A. But chua, chua, chua means two different, uh, three different things. With the different accents on the wording, chua it means God, chua it means a Buddhist pagoda, and chua it means it it means sour. So you kind of need to hear the words. Chua, chua, chua. <laughs> so cut the chicken. I hope you're on it or the pork you don't need to cut. Okay, we're, we're, we're just going to kind of pan fry it very, you know, until it's cooked with salt and pepper and then we slice it later. And then, then, then slice it in the way that you can roll it up, okay? I'll try not to spill any chicken juice all over the table here. 
try not to cut my fingers. Well, so slice this like this so that you can put it in the roll. And you don't have to, for a chicken, you have to cook it very thoroughly. We all know that. But Viet, in Vietnam, everything is tougher. Like, well, first of all, oh, by the way, I have a joke for you. Uh, uh, hmm. They're not really a joke, but a kind of a story. Do you, do you know why? Um, what would I say? You know original sin, right? Like how, how Adam and Eve was tricked by a snake, right? And they say, the Vietnamese say, if God chose the Vietnamese, we would have eaten the snake and we would not be in the state we are in right now. You know how the Asians are, the Vietnamese are, we eat everything that moves. So they're kind of a story. <laughs> So, so the word for God is Thiên Chúa, so God of heaven. By the way, we were very, the Vietnamese are a mixture uh, language-wise and cultural-wise from the Chinese, as well as the French, as well as the, uh, the, the other cultures uh, in Thailand as well. And so the cooking is very unique because see, it's a mixture. Like we, we have the Northern, even the tribes people, the Vietnamese have, uh, uh, have, uh, uh, have a, a liking to the, so they, a very unique dish is called Vietnamese pizza. Do you know what Vietnamese pizza is? It, it comes from the Northern tribal people, right? They're, they're not Vietnamese, but they are in Vietnam. It's a Vietnamese pizza. It's a blood dish. It's totally blood. They, you know, they, you know, they, the children don't listen to this, but <laughs> so it's a quite the mixture of things. And so you can see some of the the milk mum, the, the fish sauce, and other foods, or a, a combination of other uh, uh, indigenous people around there as well. So. We are influenced by the Chinese, by the indigenous people. The language is, uh, it sounds softer. And it's not like, well, I, I'm sorry if any of you who are Chinese, but like just for instance, we, we, the, the, the Vietnamese, 60% of the Vietnamese words are, are from, uh, from uh, Chinese right? and really much so. And so if you were to say, Tian Chua, Tien Chua, uh, Tien Chua, uh, so you would to say it in Chinese. Tien Chua, it means God, God of the heavens. And in Vietnamese, we would say Tien Chua, Tien Chua. So it's it's softer. The uh, Maybe I'm exaggerating the, the Chinese, but I always hear the Chinese to be stronger, very more blunt in, in, in how they speak, the Mandarin in particular. And so, but we share the same words. Ting Chua, and the Vietnamese is Ting Chua. So the same, virtually, if you can't, you know, if you were not a linguist or know the language, you wouldn't know the difference there. Okay, so you got your chickens cut. The pork doesn't need to be cut. You got your calamari cut yet. I hope some of you are cutting your calamari. Um, so I will need my uh, my assistant to begin cutting the calamari for me, so that we can we can move on. Okay, so so we got our chicken. We got now we got our prawns. So the prawns, I took out a few. They're, they should be big, okay? They shouldn't be a small size, not the shrimp. These are the prawns. And of course, you need to, to peel them off. 
just you know however you want to peel them off right and um, i usually um th there is a, a way of doing it but uh, I, you just peel them off as much as you can the vietnamese like to uh, when we are so you peel off the skin and at the end you just kind of pull the uh, the, the ends off and for some people they also clean the middle here as well to take out whatever is there but i like to keep everything for its flavor but some people like to clean it out so it takes more time you know what i'm I'm talking about the and i think it's the inner innards of uh, of the prawns but you don't i don't i don't do it but today i just wanted to show you that okay so okay where else so that's the prawn who should I give you time for prawns? <laughs> so, I, am I going too fast? So I got prawns, got chicken, I got pork. Pork is just take it, take them out, and and then and then just uh, you know uh, fry uh, like kind of uh, cook it. I'm just washing my hands right now. Oh yes, yes, scallops can be used as well. But remember with scallops, like from uh, the last time I tried some scallop from Costco, they were very nice, but there was sand in it as well. So make sure that you get rid of the sands. I don't know how to do that, but uh, just clean it up very thoroughly. Otherwise you, you bite into the grit. You know, they're ready to go. You're ready to go where? <laughs> where are you ready to go? The next step. Okay. So, so what I, I have here is a, a shallot. Shallot is a combination between a, a, an onion and a garlic, right? And so um, they're. I, my parents used to be shallot farmers, and they would sell it at Hang Long and other places as well. So they, that was one of their side jobs, uh, was uh, to grow a lot of shallots. These are pretty big, right? And so be careful with the ones that, uh, you know, I try to buy Canadian or, or American, or because like there's so many places now, it's much cheaper. I think from China, but it's not as good, and the flavors are not, are not there. So, so you got shallots and you got garlic. So I use both of them. Okay, and so my mom taught me with the best way for garlic is not uh, to you know crush them first. Take out all the the stuff, the leaves or whatever you call them, the skin. And then, you know, just just cut them. Without cutting your fingers, okay? I'm getting warm in here. I'm wearing this sweater for St. Patrick's Day. And I, I think I need a glass of water or uh, something better than water, you know? I'm, I wonder sometimes, you know? I wonder if the kids are listening, but the Vietnamese wouldn't use, uh, wouldn't have uh, wine with this, right? This is a new thing. But cut it up a little bit. So the shallots is in the same way, the same. You cut, it's harder to uh, to crush it, but you can cut the, t the ends first. Right, and, and if you can crush it, you can, but otherwise, the smaller one is easier. Take off the skin, uh, the the outer skin. Oh, 
Okay, did you get your hot water going yet? I should get it going right now. Oh, it's boiling already. So maybe keep it down a little bit. Okay. So in the same way as you did the, uh, the, uh, the garlic, somehow my mom says, when you crush it, there are greater flavors that come out of it. I don't know. I'm no expert, but I think there's some truth to that. Do they make you cry like onions? No, they don't. Okay. No crying. Shallots are, are, not, uh, are not the same as, uh, as onions. Okay, so there you got it. Shallots and onions. I mean, shallots and garlic, okay? So I've already pre-cut a lot of stuff there already. So what are we going to do next? All right, I think I'm going to ask, uh, we're going to move from here over to there, where we're going to make the peanut butter sauce, okay? We can do it during the time, but the the chicken and the cooking the chicken and the shallots. Whoa. Okay, my phone has uh, pork meat all over it now. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, okay, what are we doing? Uh, well, maybe that camera we can switch over over there. But uh, okay, so we got the chicken done. We got prawns done and let, let's go to do the peanut butter sauce maybe we can stay here for a second so some of you who are allergic to to uh to peanut butter and uh, that's we don't there's nothing we can, i can do about it but other than the vietnamese my mom sauce there there's no dairy no nuts or anything like that in there no wheat and yeah you have to make it from uh from the source so, oh i forgot the uh, do we have a <laughs> a can opener i hope we do have a can opener uh boy did we forget to get a can opener Oh, we do have a can opener. Woo, thanks be to God. Okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, Don, uh, thank you very much. Oh, hello, Don. Oh, which way? Are... <laughs> Go back to, uh, thank you, Don, for uh, putting the new stove together. We had the big, big stove in here that, uh, uh, that well, it, it, it was big. And so we brought a, bought a new stove. And, I'm going to move it over to, for you to see. It's so I've never cooked on it before, and uh, but it's nice. It's from gas with gas. I've never cooked with gas either, and so it's going to be quite the experiment here. All right. So, are we back? Okay. Open the can of this one is core clear chicken broth or any type that you can can have. Okay, but you don't pour everything in at once. Boy. Just enough so that it doesn't fall in. So there you got your chicken broth. Open it up, don't pour it in yet. Okay. So those of you who are allergic to peanut butter, I'm very sorry. I don't know what to do. Somebody asked, can you use almond butter instead of peanut butter? Hey, that's a great idea. Try it out. Anything could, anything that could do. Almond butter, what about cashew butter? Cashew butter, I've never had cashew butter, but you can try. But, you know, peanut butter is, I know is to be the best. But almond butter, we can try that out. I forgot to talk to you about 
cutting the onions. Oh, green onions. Cucumbers I'll cut later. I'll, I have my helpers doing the cucumbers. I don't know how to cut cucumbers, but in slices so that you can put into the roll. It's just everything to do with. So we have a green onion. I forgot to tell you. Just cut it up into slices. That's all. Cut the ends off. Uh, sometimes, yeah, just cut the ends off. Oh. Into, you know, something like that. Okay. And um, it's going to be re just flavoring at the end. That's all. The, uh, the after, it's almost when everything is uh, cooked like the chicken is cooked and everything is cooked and then you throw some onions into it for flavor and color for saint patrick's day we got color i hope you have your salt and pepper i didn't have it on there but sea salt is wonderful okay green onions Okay, that's for just color, really. Okay, peanut butter, creamy peanut butter. Some people love peanut butter, and so they put a lot of peanut butter. But just be careful that it depends on the individual. So, a big spoon of peanut butter. or two, <laughs> some people just love peanut butter. But the, the thing that will make it Asian flavoring is the hoisin sauce. Okay, hoisin sauce can do all sorts of things with it. Okay, this one, I should have stirred it up, mix it all together a bit more beforehand. That's how it is. Okay. Now, you can, we should uh, turn, we'll, we'll go over to over there. Then I this is hoisin sauce, and it, everybody's different. And, and, oh, this is brand new. There it is. There we go. So, just, you know, Two spoons of of, um, of peanut butter, maybe several squirts. One, those, those are big squirts, weren't they? <laughs> Two, three, from the bottle, and then mix it up, mix it, it up. And then the color still re retain. Some people put, when, when you see it dark, then it, it's too much, uh, too much raisin sauce. So it's all depending on the person, how much, what, what do you like most? Some people like a little bit more hoisin than others. And, and then put in a little bit of, you know, chicken broth. Okay. And then we'll go over there. Okay, can somebody switch over to this side? Okay. How we get this going? Well, I didn't finish saying, but thank you, Don, Mr. Don Spinder, for hooking up all the gas today. Uh, I mean, yesterday he did it. So stir it. A very Jen, are you able to? Switch? Thank you. Okay. So welcome to the other angle here. And so very light. Uh, very uh, should I say? Not on high, and um, and 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 stir, stir until everything come into a, 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 cons a, a one consistency. Okay, so oh, let me see how I do this to stir. So it's all up to you what you like, right? Peanut butter, stir it until it, it it's no longer lumpy. So you got, got to be watchful of this because it can go bad very quickly. 
it can burn I mean and so some okay some like it uh, more runny some like it thick but this needs a little bit more so still continuously stirring it Whoop, wow <laughs> it came out sorry <laughs> it's okay well somebody's gonna have to clean up a lot of the mess later here <laughs> how are you folks doing i hope you're you're following along <laughs> okay, we better hurry up. All right. So I think I'm satisfied with this consistency. You see that? It's not too bad. Maybe add a little bit. I would add a little bit of more hoisin, making it darker. But it seems to be working okay. All right. Oh, by the way, did you, uh, the, you got boiling water already? Okay. Let's take out the noodles, whatever you have. Did you, you should, be, whatever noodles that you had, read, I hope you read the instruction. Boil it right now. Like, put it in. So, I'm gonna take my noodles. I'm not gonna put the whole thing in. Maybe, whoop. I think this is a lot, but okay. <laughs> I think you put it in. Use your spoon, don't use your fingers and let it, uh, let it cook. You have to keep an eye on that. Whoop, and this too. <laughs> okay, turn off the heat. And let it boil. Okay. Okay. Well, I think it was not boiling that strongly yet. So I should have uh, moved the over to a stronger stove. Okay. Stronger stove. Get the, the boil going. All right. Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's still uh, on the, the kitchen side here. Okay. So you got your peanut butter sauce all done. Okay. And now you have your noodles going. I should have uh, really, the water should be really boiling already, but I, I didn't do that. So get your strainer ready, okay? When it's uh, things are ready, you grab, not, oh boy, I do need something to hold. That's uh, over and pour it out. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's do some chicken. I think lots of you have done chicken, right? So first of all, well, turn off the heat. Well, remember in Vietnam for the longest time, what they, they're cooking, uh, they use wood. They didn't have propane, they didn't have electricity. They didn't have much of anything. Is that on this camera now, dear? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's uh, ask Jen to change the camera. There, okay. So in Vietnam, they would usually use uh, lard because they didn't have like olive oil even corn oil, this is not the, the thing. And so they would, uh, so be careful. Are you having your noodles going at the same time? Watch over that. Okay, maybe we'll turn the window, open up the window a little bit. 
uh, before the alarm, we have an alarm up there. <laughs> so the fire department ha has come here several times for various reasons, not, not because of me, but so we use usually lard and lard is, is wonderful in, in the flavor, like in Italian cooking. Uh, I, I know like in pasta, the basic ingredient is uh, the uh, pancetta, you know, the, the, the uh, bacon and with pasta, just simple bacon uh, flavor with pasta and, and just uh, parmigiano. It, it's all you really need. And so the Vietnamese use lard, lard, but now they use corn oil, canola oil, and me, I, I like as well. It's not on yet, but. And I don't know how fast this will go, but um, you don't need to put any salt or anything in there. M Mom doesn't do that. Just in, I mean, in the, uh, the, the noodles, I have to be careful. Ooh. Okay, somebody really had to clean up. So Celine, that's my sister who's helping right now. Uh, how long do we keep the, the no noodles? I, it's almost ready. I do everything by look, by see. Okay, so oil, just enough to, to cover the pan. And you know, this is a, but you, olive oil, you have to be very careful because it cannot be on very high. It will, uh, it just, that's how the olive oil works. It's this, you know, uh, I think corn oil is a higher cooking uh, ability uh, that, that it can go much hot, hotter. So you have to be careful with olive oil, otherwise it uh, tastes terrible and and they get destroyed as well. Okay, so you have to watch. Okay, so now you got your garlic, you throw in your garlic. Okay, and then, well, shallots, two of you want. Usually shallots later. All right. I like my chopsticks when I'm cooking. Is that okay? Chopsticks. So, the salt and pepper. Just be careful. Don't let the garlic burn. Woo, this thing is hot very quick. <laughs> Salt and pepper. I have to turn this guy down. Woo. That's the beautiful thing about gas. You can control too, but it also burns very quick. Salt and pepper. Twirl it around. Oh, the smell of garlic. Amazing and the shallots, it's gentler uh, than an onion and a, gar a garlic. Salt and pepper. Um, my mom loves a lot of salt. She puts in a lot of salt. Okay, but try not to get the shallots. Things burn, I think. This is almost ready. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> okay, the noodles are ready. Okay, so we're going to have to put it aside a second. Okay, where is oven gloves? Here we are. Okay, everybody move out. Because you don't want to overcook it. It's terrible. So come over here and you. Okay. Try to get much of the water out as possible. I think it's okay, it will survive. I know some people put hot, uh, cool water in it so it doesn't stick together. But it is okay, just the Vietnamese is like this. And just let it cool. And so that's why you don't want to overcook it. 
Otherwise, it will be very soggy. Okay, are we ready? This is off for now. Okay, we're back. So what did we say we're gonna do chicken first? Right, chicken. So here comes the chicken, woo! By the way, the Vietnamese chicken in Vietnam or the beef, it's much tougher. It's not like soft and like here. So we're ready. Just throw it, throw it around. Okay, can somebody put on the, the kettle? Turn, uh, you know, get some hot water going right now. So the chicken in Vietnam, it's much tougher. And usually they would call it stewing chick chicken here, but over in Vietnam, that's how they, they, uh, they eat it. And, oh, they do need a lot of dentists over there. Like people lose their teeth eating the chicken, you know, and chewing away at the chicken and, oh, there's my teeth. <laughs> that happens often in Vietnam because everything is so tough. Just a little bit more oil because chicken, it's this, this breast chicken is very little fat. I'm just going to pick something up. Oh. How's it smelling, everyone? <laughs> Throw some more salt. Some more pepper. Back and forth we go. All right. You can put a, uh, it's just taking some time to cook and you don't wanna you just cover it up a little bit. Am I running out of power on the phone? Oh my goodness. Okay, 20%. What's that? Okay, if you can. All right, I'm running out of power on that phone. Father, is that a walk? Yes, that's a walk. But it's a, a flat, but a walk. Can you hear me again? Yeah. Are you going to attach your AirPod to this if we can? Okay. There's some can technical we? difficulties here. Can we attach your AirPods to this? Uh, I don't know. Can you see it? George. <laughs> so, okay. Just maybe just put back to the other phone. Okay. So in the same way, different pair of chopsticks. So check on the on the chicken. Okay, how's everyone doing? Okay, same thing, garlic. If you like garlic, put more garlic in. 
you don't. Onions. I mean, shallots. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, there's a echo. Oh. Oh. Okay. Is there still an echo? Okay. Hey, Jen, can you let us in? Okay, no more echo, good. <laughs> so the prongs, the same method, the same way. So every pan is different. This one is taking longer to eat up. This one is quicker. Just make sure the chicken is there. They are all cooked, okay? But don't overcook them. Okay, maybe just a little bit more. <coughs> kill all the bacteria, to kill all the COVID. Kill, die COVID, die. <laughs> okay, prawns. All, all clean and just put it in. Woo. Salt and pepper. The prawns, they cook much faster, so you have to watch them. Well, the heat too fast, too strong now. You don't want to burn the garlic or shallots. Can we, can I have uh, two plates ready? Like of, uh, so I can do the presentation. See the, my skills with a chopstick? <laughs> Flipping the prawns with chopsticks. There we go. This, we should market it as a diet tool because you can't go fast with this thing, right? Well, I guess Asians can, but everything, it takes so much time to, to eat, you know, chopsticks. Maybe you should, uh, <laughs> be careful of the heat. Whoa, we're we'll going to go over this side for the heat. Ah, the chicken. Okay, see how's the chicken going here? I think we're done here. Okay, turn off the heat. No one will die of salmonella. It's done. So best to slice it not too thick. Oh, it's all done. So now you put some green onions in for looks. There you're done. Don't try uh, try not to get the, the juice in there too much. I think some of our chicken these days there's a lot of water in them. And so when you put them pre to present it on the bowl, uh, on the plate, uh, plates, try to avoid the, the, uh... the broth is really nice. You can, the Vietnamese try not to to, get, to waste anything. So all, this can be a soup later of some form. <laughs> I 
Are we back? Wonderful. So we got the funds going here. Wow, looking very nice. Do we have some onions? The prawns, they are ready, already. So you don't need to cook them very very long. So in the restaurant, usually they slice it in half and then, you know, but my family just like to have the whole thing or we break them in half rather than slice them in the middle. Almost, almost. Some green onions ready to, to go into there. Mmm, the prawns. Can you smell the prawns? Oh my goodness. Mmm. Happy St. Patrick's. <laughs> well, at home you can smell. And I guess if you have a mask on okay five seconds and then we're ready one two three four five vietnam one of the uh, the big things they do in vietnam is they have prawn, um, they have prawns, they have prawn farming. It's, uh, these days we're figuring out they use a lot of antibiotics in order to kill the, keep the prawns alive, but they're figuring out new natural ways of keeping uh, uh, the prawns from, from dying and using less. Uh, whoo, there we go. Onions, we come in with onions. Back and forth a little bit. I think all bacteria is dead and maybe COVID as well. I think COVID is dead too. There we go. Turn off the heat and onto the platos. I do like this pan very much. It's a, a stone. It's called stone, I think, and it seems to take it takes a longer time to to come to uh, to warm up, but yet it very it's very consistent. So prawns and Vietnam has also freshwater prawns, and it is delicious. But I warn you, they you know the rivers buy them if you can't go up further up the river than lower down in the river but they're huge they're huge the size of my hand and they're fresh water it's very interesting okay all the water boiling is, is it okay is it boiling okay all right so i i hope your water is boiled now we're gonna do the wrapping right now okay Okay, so we will So Well the pork somebody's asking me about pork well for the pork you just kind of pan fry it Okay, so just pan, pan fry it, salt and pepper in the same way. So with the, uh, what's going on? <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to front camera, okay. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> okay, how we do this? Very good. We're good now. 
Awesome. So the pork, some of you, I didn't say how we do it, but just in the same way, same method. Okay. But with the, with the, uh, with the calamari, do the same method, but with the pork, you um, need to fry it just like, uh, just like on the pan and salt and pepper and then, then cook it, cook it thoroughly. And then you slice it, whatever, so that it comes into the roll. Okay. But uh, I don't have time to do that right now because everybody's hungry. I'm just going to wash my hands. So we have With the noodles, be careful. <laughs> they can clump up very quickly. So uh, just, you know, just, just pull it out. So I have here with me mint, uh, cilantro, cilantro. Some people think that it is very much like soap, cucumbers. Slice like this by my sister. See, I don't know how to do it. So slice this like that. Get yourself a plate. And any questions here? OK, Father, you deserve your own cooking show. <laughs> All right, so pull up the rice paper, okay. So I, I want you to learn a word in Vietnamese when it says it's good, like really the food is good. The word is ngong. Can you say that? Ngong. Ngong. <laughs> it's very difficult for some. It's ngong. It's really good. Ngong. Hak ngong. It's really good. It's ngong. This is good. And hak ngong, it's really good okay so you have a bowl like this a boiling water and then i opened up the rice paper already okay like that now i'm going to dip it in to the water just just like dunk it in but be very careful it's you it's really hot so you have to keep it moving very quickly right in and around you see that around 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 and your hand make it burnt a little bit but it's okay it's worth the the pain and put it onto flat onto a plate wait a little bit because it, it cooks okay you got your noodles you got your cucumbers, you got your chicken, You, I got my prawns, got the mint here. And okay, I, I need a bowl for, for the peanut butter sauce. Okay, so well, I don't really need it, but I'll, I'll leave it here. So now the consistency is kind of sticky like this, right? You touch it and it wants to stick to your finger. Oh, it's ready, okay? It really, when you dip it in, you put it on there, it's ready. First, you get the noodles. Some people just love the noodle. Am I going too fast? But here is the noodle, okay? Let me see here. I have to move this over here. 
Now, can you see me? All right, better? Okay, so you got noodles. Some people love a lot of noodles. And so they, I begin at the back. Some people begin right here. And so put the noodles there and, and don't put too much noodles. Some people do put too much and it's just filling. What you have next, get my chopsticks, clean chopsticks without, um, is uh, to put in prawn or two. Some people, love, you know, like that. Can you see that? Like that. So towards the front. The chicken can come later. Now, some people like cilantro. So put cilantro in. I got all my sticky rice here. It shouldn't be sticking this much, but I guess I overcooked it. And so the, the rice, uh, the noodles are sticky. So, so put one cucumber and chives. Do we have chives? Has it been washed? Okay, very good. So you can experiment, right? Some of you like chives, some of you don't. You like a lot, very little. So put it into the middle as well, just like that, okay? And some like mint. So put one mint or two, uh, you know, two. Some just the whole stem. But this is, uh, I think, North American mint. The Vietnamese mint is a little bit different. It's milder than, than this here, okay? And some put in also uh, uh, basil as well, but I, I don't do that. Are you ready? So it's at the back. You take two fish. Wow, this is overcooked now. But just be careful without ripping it. So that's why the type of, um, of uh, rice paper is very important that it can stay together. So take t one side, flip it over without getting like that. You see that? The cucumber, if it's protruding out too much, break it. And then the other side, okay? You're gonna do a tuck from the top, from, oh, it's really sticky on my fingers. So. So you gotta be quick, ah, tuck it in and roll it towards yourself. How's that? Some people do it very well. Mine is okay. What do you think? <laughs> so like that. <laughs> okay. And then of course, you're ready to eat and you dip, okay? Another demonstration for you, okay? So we're going to do the chicken right now. So ready? Rice paper. Pick one that is not broken. Oh, this one is broken. So like that. And then dip. Quick, 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 quick. Turn, 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 turn. Everything should be covered with hot water. So you really, if COVID time, you shouldn't share. <laughs> you have your own bowl. Put on the plate. Yes, it will cook very quick. So warm water, you replace the warm, uh, if it becomes warm, then replace it with hot water, okay? So noodles, I'm gonna use a little bit more noodles this time. Okay, so you, you don't need to. So chicken again, one slice, two slice, five slices, whatever, you're at home, you can put as much, you know. We're not at the restaurant where they just give you just a little bit of meat, a little half of a prawn. Cilantro, a lot or a little, it's up to you. Now I'm gonna do it uh, without the tucking. 
<laughs> it might be difficult. I mean, without the uh, the sides. Okay, some people, but it falls off more easily. Uh, but you can also do it this way. Let me wash. So you got your mint, you got cilantro, you've got your chives. Yes, chives. You got your chives there. Just washing my hands a little bit. So some of you who, who bought pork, you can cook your pork and I hope it's almost done by now. Just cook it and salt and pepper, that's all you need and then slice it according to Lee. So again, so now this time without tucking this way and that way, but we're just going to from the back and we're going to fold it. It's kind of tricky. Kind of use all your finger, making sure that, you know, your thumb is holding it down like without, and then use these fingers here. Use those fingers here to, I know it's a little bit of a trick, like using chopsticks. So, your thumb to hold it down and then these fingers here to grab it and pull it forward or towards you i mean doing the tuck be careful gently otherwise you're going to rip the rice paper and there you go another one this is a big cigar <laughs> <laughs> but there it is you got your Vietnamese salad roll. Okay, there you go. Well, I hope uh, any questions so far, I can't really see the questions, but let me see any questions here. Tuck and roll, you can become a gymnast. Okay, yay, looks better than mine. The wrap broke. <laughs> can't wait for the next cooking stream. Okay, that, all right. is user okay my wrap is sticking it <laughs> well it takes practice i guess but it is patience and the fingers gently and don't stuff things too much in there if you do then it causes problem all right any questions anybody and then i'm going to sing my song for you okay and then we're going to kind of end end it today if you have any more questions. Oh, by the way, um, by the way, I, I want to uh, say something about what can work, what, what you can drink with it. Do you know in our parish, we, we have a lot of talented people, but also great winemakers too. This is from Sperling and uh, it's a market white, right? And I, 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 it's a light, fruity, quite a summery uh, wine, but, uh, uh, but it is very good with the, the chicken and with the, the prawns and the seafood. And so this is an all round good, uh, wine and so I want to. Yeah, you can buy it here actually. You don't have to go to the Okanagan. I, I, I one summer I, I worked uh, there just taking the grapes just for fun, right? And I stayed with uh, uh, Susan. I think some of you know Susan and uh, and in April. That's uh, that's uh, April's mom, April Mignot, mom. And but Susan's uh, uh, family. Uh, owns a vineyard out in Kelowna. I spent a few days there picking grapes and enjoying the grandmother's cooking, the nonna's cooking. So I remember that very fondly. But this is a great wine that, for, that goes compliments very well with it. You can get it at the local wine store. At, um, I think you can go to, um, uh, where is it? Uh, at uh, Savon. It's at the wine section and, and and it's got many others as well 
they, they make it very well organic and other sorts. And, and so it's wonderful that if you can get your hands on a market white or others, it, it complements very well, but particularly the market white, okay? So I just wanted to let you know, it's organic, 2017. I'm gonna break it open later to, to have her with the rolls. So uh, any question there? What do I do? Bricks, what kind of rice paper do you use? Well, so this is the brand that I use. You see it? That's the brand that I use. You want me to do another roll? <laughs> I'll sing to your traditional after. The, are you sure you, you need another roll? Someone is asking? Another demonstration. Okay. All right. By the way, beer is also good with it. And water for the children. So eating like this, you have your hands should be very clean. You have to wash it often. Okay, are we ready? One more demonstration. I don't know if the water is still warm, uh, still hot, but we're gonna do it again. Choose one that is not broken. So rice paper like that, dip, it's warm now. So you really need a hotter, but we'll I'll try it out. It will cook. So you might need to dip it a little bit longer, then it comes out. Put it there, let lead it to cook. Get some noodles. That's a bit too much. All right. So we'll put prawn and chicken. So one piece of prawn, one chicken or two. Cucumber. Cilantro. Some people just hate this stuff. I don't, because of it, they say it tastes like soap. Tastes like soap, they say. Okay. Uh, mint and then chives. And some people actually like it with hot chilies in there as well. But you can put it in the, the uh, okay, so I'm doing the, 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 the traditional way. One side. Whoop, boy, that's a difficult way. One side. The cucumber is in the way. I'll break it. The other side. This looks like a mess. So the main thing is that it goes into your stomach. Flip it over, tuck it over. Well, I got a stubby one, <laughs> but it works. There you go. All right, so three rolls. Okay, there you go. Any other questions? Any? You just have to take time. It will take time, patience. It will work. Just do, maybe you just do the, the rolling without you know flipping the two sides over. That's more difficult. Just go straight, you know, just from the back, roll it together, okay? Awesome, there it is. An hour and a half. I hope you survive and hope you're enjoying your food. And so while you're eating, I'm gonna serenade you, okay? A Vietnamese traditional hymn a song it's not a hymn it's it's not you know churchy stuff it's a vietnamese song about mothers 
how uh, her how her care and her voice and her love is just like the gentle breeze and her food and cooking all day she worried worries about mom about the, her children night and day she can't sleep she worries and so she cares for them okay so i hope you enjoy <laughs> that but i'm going to sing you a, a song we'll we'll get rid of all this because i don't want to spit no Are we ready? Okay, enjoy your eating. Okay, how do I get uh, Vietnamese words? <laughs> Thank you to everyone, to Emma and, and Michael and Jen who set up this live streaming experience because I, 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 I wouldn't know how to do it. <laughs> and so thank you for that, my sister and others and uh, who uh, prepare uh, the, the, uh, all, that, uh, all that preparation beforehand, um, you know. And uh, Nancy, who's helped me pr prepare a lot of stuff. And so it's been great. Okay, so I'm going to sing you a traditional. Let me see if I can get the words here. Hmm, where do I get my words? Let me see here. I need the words. Okay. So you can hear the language, okay? So this is called Long Mat, and it is, um, it's like translated directly, it means the stomach of the mother. <laughs> But it means the heart of a mother, her very being, how she loves her children. Night and day she can't sleep. Her voice is like the the wind that that touches the um, the the Vietnamese uh, rice, you know, patties, and the gentle breeze. And so her care. Are you ready? All right. Let me see if I can. Thương con khuya sớm bao hàng ngày lặng lội reo neo núi con tới ngày lớn khôn dù cho gió không qua nắng ngày mẹ hiền một sự hay nắng cho bác mái đầu buồn phiền ngày đêm sống tối vui cùng con nhỏ 
một mình tiếng ru em đêm mẹ hiền năm tháng chuyện nhé Happy St. Patrick's Day. Well, thank all the missionaries from that came to Vietnam. Now we have great food, French influence and all. So God bless you, St. Patrick's. Have you, I hope you have a wonderful celebration tomorrow, okay? No fasting or abstinence tomorrow, okay? You can eat meat and you can party tomorrow. It's a feast day. God bless you all. Have a wonderful evening.